scrapbookers this is Megan and I am back today with days number 18 and 19 I am plugging right along and I have actually finished my December daily at this point it is the 30th of December and I am super excited to do a walkthrough with you guys which I will hopefully get up sometime next week but so for today, I am working on day number 18, which was a super fun day. It was a Sunday. I woke up. I think my husband let me sleep in this morning. I can't remember, but he made a yummy, yummy breakfast for me. He is an amazing husband and is always pampering me. He made me an egg frittata. It was amazing. It was so amazing. Super, super good. And so that is the the picture that's up in the top left hand corner. I am kind of working out of order here. <laughs> As you can see, I am over scrapbooking the photos on the right hand side. I was just really excited about scrapbooking this photo that I have of a house that is on our version of Candy Cane Lane. Um, when I was growing up, my grandparents lived in Monterey, California, and they had a, a lane, an actual lane in their town that was called Candy Cane Lane. Our Candy Cane Lane here is actually not called Candy Cane Lane, and, um, but it is known for being Candy Cane Lane. For some reason, they're not allowed to post the Candy Cane Lane sign anymore, even just during the month of December, which is really weird because a few years ago they were allowed to, but I don't know, maybe the, the city told them they weren't allowed to post that anymore. It's weird. But anyway, every year, the I think it's the, the, the Sunday before Christmas, we take a drive down Candy Cane Lane. Um, and so that happened to be the 18th. And so here I am just gluing down this photo of the most favorite house. This is the house that gets the most decked out every single year. And I just journaled and said the best house on Candy Cane Lane. And I am done with that card. That one was super simple. So now here you can see I have gone over to this left side and I am going to stick that frittata picture down on just a little piece, uh, like a little scrap, I think is what I had. I have a clear sticker and it says joy on it that I'm just putting up there at the top. It's a geotag and it was really easy. I'm going to put some enamel dots down here in the bottom. Let's see, that's the right hand corner. I did try to use Brad's, but it wasn't, it didn't look right to me. So I'm just going to use three different enamel dots and then that little card is done. Now I'm going to move on to this second photo, which I am just going to stick in as is. It was big enough to fit in the pocket. So for this next one, I am just using the background from the paper I used before. And I'm thinking about putting the words holiday fun up there in the top left hand corner just to kind of spruce up that photo of Brennan and me, but it doesn't end up working out. I just leave it blank. So I did put happy holidays and tis the season up on the top card, which is going to end up being my date and journaling card. I am trying to bring in more of these brads and stickers because I want to get them used up. I have a ton of them. Oh my goodness, I have so many of them. So I think I've maybe used half of everything that I started out with. Maybe. Probably just a quarter. Okay, now I'm going to move on to that bottom photo of Tinian where he is pointing his thumb at himself. So this story is hilarious, super hilarious, and it's one of my favorites from that day. Okay, I guess I'm going to stick all of these down. I forgot I had just stuck them on the outside. I didn't actually glue them down onto the paper. So here I'm just gluing down all of these stickers. You can see that I have that... Um, what the weather photo there too you can see that and I'm gonna stick it on 
this, the journaling, um, I'm sorry, I am losing my words. I'm going to stick it there, but there's not a whole lot of room to do it. So I'm going to cut it down so that you can just see the degrees. So here I am um, putting down my 3D um, dimensional tape, three dimensional tape. And then here is where I cut down the weather photo that I just printed off with my Canon selfie. And I just cut it down so you can see the town that I live in and the degrees. It was one degree and I think it was at like 10 o'clock at night, I think, when I took that photo. I can't remember, but it's okay. I just wanted to know that it was really cold that day. <laughs> so now I'm thinking, okay, I need a, maybe another sticker, but I'm not going to end up putting anything else on this card. I am just going to write out my journaling. And here you can see I'm using my close to my heart. Let's see, I think that is... Oh goodness, what is it? It's an older color, it's called Olive. So I don't know if they still have it available, but I inked the end edges with uh, Close to My Heart Olive ink. My journaling says, Mark made us yummy frittatas for breakfast, yay! The boys and I cooked and then frosted sugar cookies. Mark also made fudge, mmm. After dinner, we drove around town looking at Christmas lights for an hour and a half. So that day, the other story that I'm telling is um, that we cut out the, the sugar cookies because we had made the sugar cookie dough the day before, I think, is what had happened. I don't remember how it happened, but anyway. So we, we cut out the sugar cookies that day and... Yeah, sorry. I'm like trying to think back on everything and it's, uh, it's, December has been a long month. And so this day we made the sugar cookies, we cooked them, we cut them out, we frosted them. The kids had fun doing that. So now here, let's move on to this story about Tinian. So we were sitting at the table and, um, he suddenly says, uh, does anyone know anything about science? And he doesn't, pause at all so that we could say yes or no or anything. He just continues on and he says, because I do, I'm a scientist. And then he proceeded to tell us that uh, T-Rex dinosaurs don't eat after they turn five years old. It was so super hilarious. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you will probably have seen this already because I just could not resist posting that onto Facebook. Like seriously. Oh my goodness. He says the funniest things. <laughs> it's just like, what? <laughs> Where do you come up with this stuff? So I just did a plain and simple journaling card about that story. You can see there that I just cut out. It's an off-white piece of paper from my stash and I am just going to journal really small on that paper the whole story. I actually have to write it out twice because this first time that I'm writing it out I write way too big because that's my natural tendency is to write huge. I'm so bad about that. Which is the reason why I usually have to find a scrap piece of paper and write out my journaling first before putting it on the actual journaling card. But I didn't do that this time. It works out okay. I just turn it over and I write a lot lot smaller. So it works out just fine. And I think that is the end of this layout. I am going to end up backing the photo of all three boys when they are decorating that photo up in the top right hand corner. Um, I love that photo. There was another photo where I had told the kids to look at me and smile, say cheese, and, it, and they were just looking at me and all happy and cheesy. But then I also saw this picture, which I took I had taken right before I had told them to say cheese and I just absolutely loved this photo because this is what it's like 
frosting cookies with them. Jonas is holding his knife in this weird way and Tinian is just sitting there waiting for help because he's the baby and he can't do anything by himself. And then Brennan, of course, is licking his thumb because even though I told him he can't lick his thumb and then frost cookies, he's going to do it. So that, I just, I just loved that photo. I just had to include that one as the one in my December daily. So I finished the journaling and now I am going to just put a little mat behind that photo and then this spread for day number 18 is going to be done. And I will move on to day number 19. And day number 19 actually goes super, super fast. I think this one only took me 30 minutes at the most. I, I want to say like 20 minutes. But I had three photos. And since I had these two 4 by 6 spots, I am going to keep it simple. And I, let's see, what am I, oh yes, okay. So the Friday before I had found out what is wrong with me. If you've been following me, you know, I've been sick for a while and it's just getting worse and worse. I had bronchitis, but I also found out the weekend before that I also had C. diff. And if you've never heard of it, it is an intestinal, uh, it's not a disease, infection. I keep wanting to say disease, but it's an intestinal infection and who knows how I got it. Um, the doctor says it's very contagious. It could have transferred to me from saliva, from coughing, from, you know, just being around someone who, yeah, like they transferred it to me. Um, and who knows how I got it. So I had been texting my mom that day talking about it with her cause it had been kind of a crazy busy weekend. So I hadn't been able to talk to her until this day, which I think was a Monday. And so I was texting with her and, and telling her how, you know, how I got some antibiotics and they were treating it and all of that stuff. So I just included the text, um, with my mom. And then these other two photos that I have are Tinian being his funny little self. He loves, like, he is seriously crazy. Like, I love this kid to death. He just keeps us going, going, going. So this night after dinner, he decided he was going to stack all of the couch pillows and all of his pillows and Brennan's pillows, which they each have like a hundred pillows each. I mean, yes, I'm exaggerating, but I just think it's so funny how many pillows they have. So he stacked them all, jumped on top of them, and then promptly fell off of them onto the floor. So... I just took these photos and it was so fun to just watch him do this over and over and over again. <laughs> oh goodness, having kids is really a lot of work and a lot of fun, but oh my gosh, crazy, crazy days. I am going to do my journaling, which just says crazy Tinian jumping off the couch onto all the couch pillows and his and Brennan's as well. Never a dull mom mom moment. I can't talk with this kid. So now here I am going to decide to add a couple chipboard stickers and then this layout is done. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great week. Bye.